We're looking ahead to the first game of the 20th season of football here at Monmouth University this Saturday at 1230 at the number 11 team in the country, the Lehigh Mountain Hawks. Happy to be joined by the head coach of Monmouth University, Kevin Callahan. Coach Callahan, you begin a banner season of football this Saturday out in Pennsylvania. But before we get to the specific game preview, 20 years of football, it's quite an accomplishment. Well, it, it, it's, it's an accomplishment, but it's also been a long time. I mean, you know, you look back over the years and who would have thought back in 1993 that we'd be where we are here today. You know, we've had so many great players come in and contribute to the success of the program. Uh, a number of great assistant coaches who have come through the program, and it's it's really been a cumulative effort of all the people that have been involved with Mama Football. So we're kicking off 20 years of football. The first home game is the eighth. We obviously begin on the road this Saturday. You open up the year with Lehigh. For the third time in the last eight seasons, it's the Hawks and Mountain Hawks to begin a season, and they come in a very formidable opponent. Well, they are. They're ranked number 11 nationally in the FCS coaches poll. Uh, they return many starters from an extremely potent off offense from a year ago. Uh, they've got uh, five starters returning on the defensive side. Uh, and they're a team that went fairly deep into the playoffs the last two years. So, you know, they, they are a formidable opponent. They have experience, they have talent, and they have a great deal of depth. And we'll, let's first look at them uh, on the offensive side of the ball and what they bring to the table. Uh, fans here at Kessler Field saw the potent offense a year ago when the Hawks and Mountain Hawks played here at home. They bring back, as you said, a lot of those potent players, uh, especially on the outside at the skill positions. Why don't you talk about that for a second? Well, Ryan Spadola, the receiver, is just an exceptional football player. You know, he's a Walter Payton Award finalist. He had 96 receptions a year ago. He was a consensus All-American. He's a preseason All-American from 2012, and he's the preseason Patriot League Offensive Player of the Year. Uh, he, he's a valuable weapon for him. He has the ability to go deep. He has the size to catch a ball in traffic. He has very, very strong hands and is able to bring the ball in uh, when he's in a crowd. Uh, he's somebody that they look to go to. He's a clutch player for them. Um, and he's certainly somebody that we're concerned about. Well, then you can kind of say is Saturday a battle of potential big play wide receivers. If you also include your Neil Sterling, Tristan Roberts, and some of your players, is it going to be an offensive explosion? Do we have a lot of points to look forward to potentially? Well, you know, I think both offenses have the potential to be explosive and put points on the board. I think they certainly have big play potential, and not just in their passing attack, but from the rushing game as well. Uh, they returned a running back, their starter from a year ago, who was very productive, had three touchdowns in our game in 2011. They have a quarterback who, although did not start last year, uh, started some games the year before. So he has game experience as well. Well, and they returned three of five starters in the offensive line, along with an all Patriot League tight end. You know, they seem to have all the pieces in place, but I've got to look at our offense too, and I think that we've got a number of weapons that we can go to. You mentioned a wide receiver core. I think we have two excellent tight ends. Uh, we have a, a very good backfield, and we have a quarterback who's got game experience himself. So I, I think the offenses will be fairly evenly matched. Look at the other side of the ball and, and a Lehigh unit that kind of is known for their offense, but defense is also very good as we saw last season, and they're expected to be good again this year. Yeah, they, they were a ranked defense a year ago. Their front seven was particularly strong, uh, meaning their defensive line and linebackers. They had several all Patriot League performers there. Uh, they do lose a few of those guys, and we'll be looking to replace those guys with, with players who, although didn't start last year, did get significant game experience. In the secondary, I think, is where they're very strong. Three out of four starters from last year's uh, top top ranked Patriot League squad return. Um, they're, they're very sound in what they do. They can be aggressive at times, and you know they really have the ability to, to keep the opposing offenses off the field. So you know our offense is going to have to be very sharp on Saturday. And taking a look quickly at your defense, you brought, also bring back a lot of players, especially in your front seven as well. Your whole linebacking core also is intact. A few new faces on the defensive line. Uh, what have you seen from your defense that gives you some optimism for well, Saturday? Going into this year, you know, improving on the defensive side of the ball was something that was important to us. Uh, last year, we were forced uh, through injury uh, to play a lot of extremely young players. Uh, the only good thing in that, or one of the good things in that, is that the, the they gained a lot of experience in doing so. Uh, we had a number of players who missed most or part of last season with injury, and they're all back and healthy and ready to go. So I think the combination of those two things We'll, we'll see a, an improved defense and even a, a, a defense that has more depth. Coach, I know it's only midweek, but what are your keys to the game going into this contest on Saturday against Lehigh? What does your team have to do in order to ensure that they'll be in the contest potentially to win it? Well, you know, I really believe that in most uh, early season or first games of the season, 
uh, one team loses the game rather than the other team winning the game. And in order to do that, I think you've got to secure the ball. You cannot turn it over. Uh, that's something that we've been preaching to our guys all throughout camp, and it's something that's a, a tenant of our, our football program is that you know we have to maintain possession of the ball. Secondly, on the defensive side, you can't give up any explosive or big plays. Uh, you've got to make the opposing offense go the long route, work hard, put together long drives in order to move the ball down toward the end zone. If we can do those things combined with uh, providing a, a few explosive plays of our own uh, and getting off the field on third down, I, I think we'll be in good shape. Well, Coach, we'll keep an eye on those keys, also these potentially explosive offenses on Saturday. Good luck against Lehigh. Thank you, Eddie. That's Monmouth University head football coach Kevin Callahan. The Hawks kick off their 20th season of football this Saturday at Goodman Stadium at Lehigh.